so students uh, let us discuss another important questions of uh, 16 marks this type of questions may come uh, at your exam so we have to prepare excel sheet right so this question i'm talking about so so below are the details of income and expenditure of the five years of an individual right you are required to create a spreadsheet spreadsheet means excel sheet so this is about excel in an appropriate format for the sample label and data and calculate total expenses and savings for every year income fixed expenses and variable expenses in every year will be increased uh, at the rate 10 percent 20 percent and 25 percent uh, respectively uh, of the previous year so write formula for each calculation center the heading of the spreadsheet income and expenditure of five years so you can see this has been given so let us open the excel file very easy uh, problem that has been given to us let us solve it you can see over here how we can solve it so just side by side I will take it and you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 0 1 2 2 0 1 3 2 0 1 4 2 0 1 5 2 0 1 6 right and the heading will be so we are going to merge do you know how to merge the cell you can see over here that merge and center okay merge and center this under home merge and center so we have to merge the topmost column of the excel why because this thing we have to put it over there as a heading right right okay now here income income then fixed expenses fixed expenses right then variable expenses then total expenses saving so these are the heading so we have to write down the value now income 15,000 15,000 that is the income then fixed expenses that was 40,000 then variable expenses that was 70,000 total expenses we have to calculate right and also we need to calculate the savings so I think the wrong data has been given he over here so here it is written 15,000 that must be his uh, monthly income okay so expenses can never be more than income right so it it I think this data is this particular data is wrong so it could be either uh, uh, one lakh fifty thousand or it could be fifteen thousand per month okay uh, let us assume this is one lakh fifty thousand because so this is expenses right the let us first calculate total expenses for the year 2012 so how to do that drag it till here and just you can find the option over here under home tab here is your option just click it sum so you can see one lakh ten thousand that is total expenses for 2012 right and what could be the savings so to calculate the savings uh, you know that uh, income minus expenses right so in what is the income this is the income 
right what is the expenses this is the total expenses if I deduct this expenses from the income we can get the savings so how can we write so so the formula you to to implement any formula you have to use this sign equal to right then you have to write equal to b3 b3 so why I have written b3 because that is my income you can, can you see the blue color border surrounded the cell so that particular cell holds my income right that is the income now equal to income minus expenses so which cell we have our total expenses that is b6 b6 now can you see a green color border to the cell oh, where we have total income so that is how we have to calculate equal to total income that is b3 cell minus total expenses that is b6 so income minus expenses this is our savings so 40,000 that is the savings for 2012 right now for 2013 so just let us see what it is written over here so income will increase by 10% right you can see so income fixed ex expense and variable expense that will increase by 10% 20% and 25% so income will increase by 10% so let us write here equal to b3 b3 right b3 plus b3 plus b3 right b3 plus b3 into ten by one zero zero that is ten percent right so can you see after adding ten percent so for two thousand thirteen this will be the income right and fixed expense fixed expense that will increase by 20 percent so here it will be written equal to b4 b4 right plus b4 plus b4 right into 20 divided by 100 so now you can see after adding 20 percent 48,000 that will be the fixed expenses and 25 percent will be increased for the variable expenses so here I have to write equal to uh, b5 b5 plus b5 into 25 by 100 so if, if I add the 25 percent then you can see after adding 25 percent the increment will be for the 2013 so expenses has been increased to 87,500 right so now we can see total expenses this much will be the total expenses and this much will be the savings savings has been reduced can you see because the income increase in income is not much only 10 percent but expenses have been increased much more than the rate of income right so now if I just drag it out here so you can see so just what you have to do you need not require to write to every cell just I have dragged it this that means this formula has been copied to all so you can see here 10 percent has been increased here for on this cell the it has it has been added uh, cc plus c3 into 10 by 100 if you check it over here from this particular cell another 10 percent has been added here also from this particular cell that is E3 that means from here another 10% has been added 
also you have to drag it over here I, this thing also you drag over here the formula will be just copied okay now here also just do the same thing and you can see now you can see for last two financial year this is here the 2015 and 2016 so instead of profit we have negative savings negative savings means loss right income that is below savings that means income below expenses that means expenses that exceed the saving expenses total expenses you can see over here total expenses has been exceed the savings right just you can put a border to it and and we have done we have successfully completed this thing okay so if you want to do one thing if you just want to remove the decimal point we can also remove the decimal point okay so we can just remove the decimal point how can we remove the decimal point do you know let us see so here we have the decimal value here and for this cell we can do one thing right click format cell click the number and just we can see uh, decimal place here means after decimal two place yes after decimal two place I will remove that zero place after decimal zero that means after decimal no number will be shown here also you can see after decimal we have this number see so I will just remove all the number after decimal select the number of column then right click to it then go to and select the format option and now select this number option and after decimal place we have two digit I don't want any digit after decimal point so just make it zero that means zero digit after decimal point okay so you can see all the digit after decimal that has been removed no digit after decimal point so this has been clear that for last two year we have negative savings that means expenses that is exceeding the income so in that time you we are going to have negative savings so this problem we have done successfully no okay so that problem we have com completed successfully so you will get 16 marks for it in the next class I will solve another problem another important problem that sometimes come in exam